Dom Hall. I'm the Future Nature Development Manager at the National Park and I'm here in Ballot Castle Country Park, many people's first experience and, and gateway into the National Park. My role is to develop the, the strategy and the policy and the opportunities for people who want to carry out ambitious nature restoration all across the park. So Future Nature is a new ambitious partnership plan, a strategy to try and really step up the work we're doing to not just protect and conserve nature but really actively restore it. We're really lucky to have a vibrant community of landowners and businesses, charities and communities who are really committed not only to delivering this vision for nature but for people, for all the benefits that a vibrant and sustainable nature can really provide for our local communities. So let's take a look at some of the fantastic projects that are helping deliver our Future Nature vision. Hello, I'm Robert Coleman and I'm RSPB Scotland's Area Manager for the National Park. We're here at the RSPB Loch Lomond Nature Reserve, which is part of the NNR in the National Park. So we stood in a National Nature Reserve. What does that mean? Well, it's really important that we have these special designated sites that are protecting the last remnants of the really, really good habitat. Future nature's only going to work if we've got these designated areas and special places that we can build out from and amplify. And it's getting those bits working together with other areas that we can scale up and have the impact we need across the National Park. Nature restoration is so important for all of us. Every aspect of our life is impacted and influenced by the nature and the wildlife that we have around us. To get future nature working, we're all going to have to work together. It's absolutely essential that collaboration and partnerships become the norm. No one individual or organisation can achieve what we need to deliver the aspirations of future nature. This year, RSPB Scotland worked closely with partners and local communities within the National Park to deliver the first translocation of beavers. This was seen as a really important step forward in delivering some of the aspirations of future nature. Beavers are a keystone species. It's a species that has multiple benefits for lots of other parts of the ecosystem and natural environment. Working in collaboration partnership isn't just about delivering at scale. It's about listening to other people's points of view and trying to understand the different perspectives within the National Park. Working in collaboration means that you sometimes have to make compromises, but as long as we all have a shared vision and an end goal point, then I'm sure we can make it through. Hi, I'm Amelia Heath from Forth Rivers Trust. We're here on the shores of Loch Lubnaig today as part of the Upper Teeth River system in the Loch Lomond Trossachs National Park. Forth Rivers Trust have been collaborating with the National Park as a delivery partner for many years now, so we're very keen and excited to be part of the Future Nature initiative and the work moving forward. At Forth Rivers Trust, we focus on river restoration but more looking towards how entire landscapes and holistic catchment approaches can improve our rivers, not just for the rivers themselves and the species within them, but for the land, the nature, and the people that benefit from those rivers and landscapes as well. We do restoration projects that focus on nature-based solutions. So this means we try to restore rivers back to their natural processes using natural materials. We've all heard about the biodiversity crisis that we're facing and the impacts and pressures that climate change are putting our natural world under. It's an absolutely daunting challenge, a massive challenge that we're facing to try and address these pressures and impacts, but it can be done. And we really need to think about giving our rivers and wildlife a voice so that they're seen as equally important as part of the world that we live in. We're all connected in this world and we need to start thinking holistically and addressing the challenges that we face holistically. There's also a growing number of opportunity to develop skills and specific economies related to green finance and green skills. Things like scaling up in nature-based solutions, creating job opportunities in those sectors, it's not just about the natural world, but it's also about the people within the natural world and how that all comes together. I'm Tim King, Chair of Loch Gull Community Trust. I help to manage a range of community development projects for the people who live around beautiful Loch Goyle. Our fjord-like sea loch location is home to just over 400 people. Most of us who choose to live here do so because we have a passion for nature and the environment. 
Many of our projects, such as a community park and a connected low-level path network, were specifically designed to provide better access to nature for everyone. Sharing nature and encouraging others to care for their environment is a crucial ingredient for a resilient and nature-rich national park. This isn't about people or nature, this is about people and nature. Some of our most impactful projects have involved community volunteers working in partnership with other organisations. We've worked with the National Park and the Argyll Fisheries Trust to improve the natural habitat along the River Goyle. This has involved riparian planting of hundreds of native trees, new fencing and hundreds of metres of riverbank strengthening and reinstatement to counter the accelerated erosion brought about by habitat loss and livestock. The benefits of this work are already shown signs of success, with evidence of Atlantic salmon and sea trout spawning grounds coming back to life. With all two real pressures facing households and communities, it's possible, of course, that caring for the environment could take a back seat. But here we have a passion for nature and wildlife in our national park. We believe that working together, we can make a difference. Hi, I'm Hamish Thompson. I am the estate manager for the Woodland Trust here on the Glenfinglas estate in the Trossachs. The Woodland Trust's key aims are to protect, restore and create native woodlands across the UK. And here at Glenfinglas we've got the opportunity to do that on an amazing scale. We manage around about 5,000 hectares here. We've created around about 1,500 hectares of new woodland. But beyond that, it's not just about the trees. We've got so many other habitats here. We've got moorland on the tops of the hills. We've got peatlands. We've got wetlands. We've got habitats of all kinds and different wildlife that uses all of those habitats. So I see my job here as to manage for maximum biodiversity and do the best I can for nature of all kinds here. The Woodland Trust has had Glenfinglas Estate since 1996 and we want to look beyond our boundaries and we recognise the urgency of the work we do. So we form partnerships with our neighbours here a few years back to form the Great Trossachs Forest. So between ourselves, Forestry and Land Scotland and RSPB, we manage a huge area and all of that is going down to native woodland expansion and restoration of other habitats. But we need to find new ways that we can do that in an integrated way. And I want to use the estate here as a demonstration how we can carry on farming. We still keep cattle and sheep here, but that's against the backdrop of massively increasing the tree cover, bringing back wildlife and providing a whole load of other opportunities from the landscape. So we're providing opportunities for people to come here, to visit, to explore the land, to understand what we're doing and why we're doing it. And I think that's a really, really important aspect of our work. I think we brought the community along with us. We certainly haven't reduced the amount of employment in what we do. If anything, there are more opportunities. And I believe that as the landscape heals and there's more diversity, then there will be more opportunities. There is an urgency to deliver nature restoration on a landscape scale. In order to do that, we need to understand the different objectives that other land managers have. But I do believe that it's completely possible to do it. It's not mutually exclusive to allow the landscape to provide for all of our needs at the same time as allowing nature to recover. So we all need to work together if we are to restore nature at scale. Hello, my name's Janet Pringle. I'm the Contract Farms Manager here at Glenfinglas for the Woodland Trust Scotland. Our work here at Glenfinglas for the nature restoration takes many forms. The Woodland Trust, one of their aims here at Glenfinglas is the wood pasture, which is here behind me in Glenfinglas. And the farm is very important to that because we provide the cattle for that enhanced grazing of the wood pasture. The cattle tread differently to deer, They've, they're obviously heavier and they can poach up the ground and that encourages places for young seedlings and trees to get away and to expand the wood. The other role that the cattle particularly play, especially for a, a large scale area like Glenfinglas, is they significantly reduce the, the fire risk because they take out a lot of that millennia, the white grass and the material that would be high risk for going on fire. One of the main reasons that the biodiversity has to be protected and, and enhanced is that people have always worked the land and lived on the land and used the land. People come along and, and, and do what they think is right at the time and, and so we, we should be doing that too and we learn from people that came before us and 
that kind of guides where we are today. The wood pasture here at Glenfinglas has been grazed down to a level that perhaps has gone too far, so it's important that we reverse that, not stop it altogether, but reverse it and make sure it's thriving, but still that it supports the, the community round about it too, that it gives benefit to everyone. I think as well, playing a part in that large landscape scale, there's definitely a feel-good factor from a personal point of view in that. I've been here nine years, and even in that sh very, very short space of time, we can see progress that we've made. And you like to think that you're doing your bit for the future generations that are coming on in the next 100, 200 years. I think it's very important to work together. It's very important to show that a uh, commercial viable farm is existing in amongst woodland restoration as a project. There's often a view that conservation is on one side, farming is on the other, and that isn't the case. We're not separate. The whole process is, is just one. Hi, I'm Falcon Frost, I'm deer stalker, deer manager for Glen Falloch Estate, which is situated in the northwestern part of the Loch Lomond Trossets National Park. The role of a deer manager, deer stalker in nature restoration is to manage the deer numbers and the uh, deer per square kilometre to a level that allows natural regeneration, so tree growth, expansion of woodland, enhancement of biodiversity and habitats. And that is done by doing annual deer counts and working within deer management groups, working with our neighbours to work out our deer densities and deer numbers and come to a number that we can sustain as a level that allows natural regeneration and improvement of habitats. So managing deer is essential because deer can browse trees it's not so bad in mature woodland, but if you've got natural regeneration or you've planted trees to sequester carbon or enhance biodiversity, overgrazing by deer can hamper that and stop the, the expansion of woodland. Also, higher deer densities can have negative effects on peatland by trampling, so it's essential we, we keep deer to a level that is sustainable for running an estate but also for biodiversity and habitats. We have a number of triple SI designated sites and other areas of outstanding natural beauty and obviously with the nature and climate change and biodiversity crisis at the moment we've got to play our role in enhancing that and increasing woodland cover and sequestering carbon by improving our peatlands. As a deer manager, as a land manager, we've got an obligation to improve these triple SI sites. We're already, as deer managers and deer management groups, very collaborative and communicative with neighbouring landowners, but this needs to come even more to the fore. There might be different views on how we manage deer and herbivores between two different landowners, but it's to come together and to work towards a common goal. There's no one right reason, there's no wrong reason. We've got to work together and take into account other people's objectives and views of how we can how we can deliver this going forward. Leading by example and showing that it can be done, we can still have people on the ground working and putting into the local economy. This is a multi-generational plan. As I said in the past, it's not quick. This could be a 50-year vision, so it's the, the vision of the current owners and the next generation who will take on from them is delivering these objectives going forward and it's a long-term plan. It not only benefits Glenfalloch, it benefits the wider community and the wider part of Scotland. It's inspiring to hear about all these fantastic projects. The Future Nature vision is huge and ambitious. We're dealing with a large area, multiple different owners, multiple different communities, and we'll need small changes from individuals right through to large systemic policy and funding changes to really deliver this vision. We need communities, we need businesses, we need organisations to really step up and step forward. So if you think you can help us deliver the Future Nature vision, we'd love to hear from you.